Hmm. Hmm. Oh, hi. It's Billy Eccles Richter from Grace Avenue United Methodist Church. Still trying to work hard at being socially distanced, yet joyfully connected. But I don't know about you, but I've got a lot of things running through my mind right now. It just seems like there's so many things to think about. I mean, there's all of this stuff still going on with the pandemic, and there's all of this unrest in our country. And in the midst of all of that, we're still trying to figure out when can the church building be reopened? And how are we going to go about doing that safely so that everybody can be protected? You know, in addition to that, I'm thinking about the fact that I've got a son that's about to go off to college. And I've got a daughter that's about to have a baby. I've got a lot of things running through my mind. But you know, it's interesting. I remember when I was a kid, when I was confused or when I was conflicted about something. Or maybe sometimes when I was in a situation where I didn't have, I don't know, the right thing to play with or I didn't have the latest and greatest toy that my other friends had. Or maybe when I was just trying to work out a problem, my parents used to say something really important to me. They used to say, use your imagination. Use your imagination. You know, what a wonderful thought that is. We don't have to go looking for our imaginations. We just have to use the imagination that God has given to us. And so that's what we're going to focus on for the remainder of June here at Grace Avenue United Methodist Church. We're going to lean into this great series called Use Your Imagination. And we're going to study the first chapter of the book of Genesis, the story of how it all began. And in the midst of that, we're going to realize that our God, who is a creative God, an imaginative God, and a good God, has bestowed that gift of imagination upon us. These are times that call for people who are creative and imaginative to lead us into the new days and to trust that God's Spirit will be leading us in this moment as well. We've got a lot of fun things planned in the next three weeks. I hope you'll check out our website for that. We've got some resources that we invite you to take a look at, some things that maybe will help you in this process. But over the next three weeks... As you get to that place in your life where there's just so many things running through your mind, step back, trust God, and use your imagination. I look forward to being with you as we join together in this important time in the life of our church.